I was blind and now I see. For this video, I'm going to read my latest blog post. Yes, I'm losing my voice. I don't know if I'm getting sick. I feel pretty okay. I just have no voice. I see so many things now and it started on Sunday. Day one, I see I belong to a church. On Sunday morning, I went to church for the first time in over seven years. It was emotional getting ready, driving there, walking into church, sitting through the service. It is humbling and scary and painful to remove all pretense as I found myself admitting, I don't even know why I'm crying God. I am so broken and I'm coming to you to fix me. At the end of the service, I told myself to wipe away my tears, get myself together, and I walked up to someone who was probably the pastor at the church, and I told him, I want to become a member of this church. How do I do it? Day two, I see codependent no more. Last year, I did the codependent, codependent no more workbook. I learned some stuff. However, last month, I started the workbook again from the beginning. On Monday, the day after I went to church, I read page 38, and the truth was right there on that page. I quote from the workbook. Surrendering to the truth hurts. Otherwise, we would not deny reality as long as many of us do. But recovery means surrendering to divine timing. We'll stop lying to ourselves when we're strong enough to face the truth. When denial runs our life is because we're facing the loss of something we are not prepared to lose. It's normal to want to control the loss or to make whatever's happening stop taking place. Codependent behaviors are normal, instinctive responses to certain events. Usually those events involve loss. Recovery often means learning to do the opposite of what we think we should do. We learn to let go and take care of ourselves. Day three, I see my life. On Tuesday, the day after I read page 38 and two days after I went to church, as I was moving through my day, a big canvas unfolded before me. It was my life. It's a life of white and gold, my two favorite colors sprinkled with blue and green. Blue is for the clear, bright Las Vegas sky and the clear, inviting water in my swimming pool. Green is for the beautiful green plants in my backyard, which is my paradise. It's a life filled with white roses. It's a life filled with love. It's a life of beauty elegance and grace of being real and not perfect. It's a life where I breathe. It's a life of laughter, dance, and oh, fun. It's a life of freedom, freedom to do anything I want whenever I want. It's a life that when I see something I want to do, I have the freedom and the ability to do it. It's a life where I speak up when I'm not treated right and when I don't like something. It's a life that only my circle has access to because it is a privilege to be invited to join. Now that I see, each day I pray to learn to let go, detach, take care of myself and enjoy my life for which I sacrificed a lot, a lot. I see wolves in sheep clothing. 
Divine timing leaves me in awe. God is great. He is the king of miracles.